All right, now in this example, we're going to be converting the following Chinese numeral into Hindu Arabic numerals, or in other words, the numbers we use. So, first of all, we have to know which each of these values are, and we have to understand how the Chinese number system works. So first things first, this symbol right here, which if you can read my horrible handwriting in Chinese, I'm impressed if you can do it in English nonetheless, this and this are supposed to be the same symbol, and it should be a 5. Now this symbol right here, it kind of looks like a little basket with a handle or maybe a TNT box. I don't know. But this symbol right here is 100. And I'll come to what it means when they're positioned this way in a moment. But I've got 5, 100, another 5. This cross where this is supposed to be a little bit longer down there should be a 10. And then down here, the box with the whiskers is a 4. Now, once you're able to read these symbols and see what the values are, okay, what the heck does it mean when they're positioned like this? So the Chinese system is interesting because what they do is it's vertical, kind of like the Mayan system, but they actually explicitly write what you're multiplying the value by. So these grouped right here would be 5 times 100 or 500. This right here would be 5 times 10, or 50. And this right here would be 4 times 1, which is 4. But you would never actually write the Chinese symbol for 1. Just as a point of information, that's the Chinese symbol for 1. But you would not put it down here. Once you get to the 1's group, you just write how many you need. So 4. And once you have that, you're just going to add them up. So that's going to be 554. And so symbolically, this is how in ancient Chinese you would write 554, and this is the positioning of the values and how they function. And that is this example.